So one more time, we will be having a test either Thursday or Friday of this week, probably Thursday, but don't hold me to that. So unit two, we're still calling equations, but we are on day 12, and we're not really doing equations anymore. The same process that we used for equations is still holding true. Today, we are starting inequalities. You have seen inequalities before. There are four symbols that are going to act as inequalities. So inequality is something that is equal. An inequality means that it's not necessarily equal. So we have four words. The first phrase is, is greater than. And now we're talking about gator mounts. Is greater than. Is the gator mount open to the right? That's the first phrase. Is greater than. That's the lie. Yes. Open to the left. You want to teach? You're, you're so far, you're doing better than I am. Do you want to? Okay. Because that was really bad. We're going to try this again. We're going to pretend that didn't happen. It's recorded, but we're going to pretend. So is greater than gator mouth open to the left. left. Is that right? No? Okay, good. Oh, man. It's a good thing that's not math. So then we have is less than. So there's our one phrase, here's our two phrase. Is less than. Bianca, which way do you think the gator mouth's going to open to? To the right. To the right. Still easy, yes? You've seen these before. Like, I, I know for a fact that you have seen these things before, yeah? Okay. <coughs> Third phrase. Is greater than or equal to. The key there is the or equal to. Gator mouth still opens the same way, but to show that equal to portion, we put a line underneath. So that's greater than or equal to. Hard? Last but not least, we've got is less than or equal to. Bless you. Good day. Okay, get caught up, copy those down. You're going to want to have those symbols in your notes somewhere. Those are going to be important. We will be graphing on number lines. I found gum. If I would have been eating chalk, well, I mean, it wouldn't have surprised me, but it'd be strange. Stranger, I guess. So, when graphing, we're going to be graphing on a number line. The greater than symbol and the is less than symbol will be graphed with an open circle. So now I don't know my left from my right, and I'm having trouble spelling. It's a rough day. Don't give me that look, Miss Armstrong. I, B had to fix me. Did you get hit in the head this weekend? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't remember. Maybe. I blame all the years that I boxed on the fact that I can't remember stuff. So I had a fight one time. 
And the fight was on Friday night. And my friend said, I came home. This was when I was with my ex-wife. I came home, acted like everything was good. And I won the fight. Like I had a black eye, but I wasn't really hit that much. I came home, it was good. I made us dinner, because we always had a party after my fights. I made us dinner, it was wonderful. And the next thing I know is I woke up. And I said, hey, what do you want to do on Sunday? Because, or what do you want to do this weekend? Or something to that effect. And she looked at me really confused. She wasn't a nice person. It's Tuesday. I said, I'm sorry. She said, no, 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 really, it's Tuesday. You went to work yesterday. <laughs> oh, I showed up to work and I'm asking people, I'm like, did I come, like, is my wife lying? Because she's kind of a jerk. Did, my, did I really show up to work? They're like, yeah, you were fine. I was like, I, have, I had nothing from Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I couldn't remember anything. Concussions, they're no joke. That's why my son will never play football. So, one graphing, open circle. Greater than or equal to, oh, I don't like this part. Less than or equal to is going to be a filled in, I call it a closed circle. Sir, my gosh, circle. Was I hitting the head this weekend? <laughs> I'm trying to remember now. I don't think. Open circle, closed circle. These are going to be important, so have this written down, and then I'm going to start explaining what does this mean. So the key today is understanding actually what is greater than is, is less than, equal to, all of that. So I'm going to leave this up here first. Now you've got me worried that I was hitting the head, and I don't remember. <laughs> so here's how you will see an inequality. It might say graph, and then it's going to say x, this symbol, in here. Yeah, I need you to keep your head up. Thank you. How would I say this? Nathan, how would I say this, man? Um, well, let's start. X, x what is this? Greater, greater, less than. Right. No, look in, look in your notes. What does it say? What are the three words that this needs to be? X. Kevin? Is greater than six. So I would read this mathematical sentence as X is greater than six. Caleb, you ready? I need something that's greater than six. Go. Seven. Seven. Is that the only answer that X can be? No. Mason, give me another one that's greater than seven. Eight. Good. <laughs> Eight. I like it. Jackson, give me, give me another thing that X can be that's greater than six. A thousand. Grego, give me something else that X can be that's greater than six. Nine. Nine. Alyssa. A hundred. We have an infinitely many numbers that can be greater than, what about 6.00000000001? Yes. Is that greater than 6? Yes. So when we graph this, we always start with the same thing. Here's what I want to see. I expect to see at least three numbers. The number that's given goes in the middle. I need one number less. I need one number more. That's all I need to see on my number line. Everybody with me so far? I need one number less, one number more, and the number that we're asking. Can my answer be six? No. No, because six is not greater than itself. So when I come over here, the is greater than and the is less than is an open circle. I like to think of this as a whole. That means there is nothing there because at six, is that an answer? No, it's an empty spot. So that's not my answer. Notice how my variable's on the left, and I've got this gator mouth, okay? Watch what I can do with all of these gator mouths. I'm gonna put this little dashed line. Does that look like an arrow? No. Which way is that arrow pointing? To the right, right? What if I put a little dashed line here? Oh, now it's pointing this way, yeah? So I can make these gator mouths into an arrow. As long as my variable is on the left, 
the arrow will point to the direction that my answers are. So, I look at it, it's pointing to which direction? To the right. And we do what's called shading. And I shade to the right. Why does this work? Everywhere that they're shading is a solution. Because I think it was, who, who gave me my first answer? What, Caleb, you said, what's greater than six? You said seven, right? Is that part of the shading? Yeah. So seven is a solution. Seven's greater than six. And then I think, Mason, you said eight was a solution, right? That's part of the solution. But then Jackson said a thousand. This number line goes on forever. Will a thousand be up there eventually? Yeah. But is six an answer? No. That open hole means that is not part of the solution. Everybody with me? Okay. Let's try this one. Try this as an example. How would I say that? All I want to do is say. It. David? X is, greater, is less than or equal to negative 3. X is less than or equal to negative 3. Can somebody give me an answer for x that will satisfy x is less than or equal to negative 3? Negative 3. Negative 3 is less than or equal to negative 3. That works. What, what about like negative 1? I want to go the opposite way. Well, think about your number line. Is negative 1 closer to 0 or is it less than negative 3? So, here's what I would suggest. As soon as we see this, I would draw my number line because it's going to say graph, right? Here's negative 3 in the middle. What's to the left of negative 3? Negative 4. What's this way? This way gets closer to 0, so what's my next number? Negative 2. Oh. So now, Brendan, I, I ask again, what will satisfy this? Which one is less than? Is less than going to the left or to the right? Okay, so give me one that's to the left. Negative 5 is less than or equal to negative 3. Megan, give me another one. Negative 19. Give me something with a decimal. Evan, give me something with a decimal. Um, negative 3 point one. Negative 3 and 1 is fine. So now, how am I going to graph this? Well, first off, I look at the sign. Less than or equal to means a closed circle. Why is it a closed circle? Why do I want to show that there's something right there at negative 3? Go ahead. Because it can be equal to. Very good. Brendan said, hey, it can be equal to negative 3. That's why we have it closed, because it's saying, hey, it starts right here. This is part of my solution. Is the variable on the left? Is the variable on the left? Yeah. So I can make my arrow. Which way does it point? Points to the left. So I shade that direction. All of this is answers. Questions on that? Okay, so you've got three. I hope you have this in your notes. You're going to do three for me. You're going to graph three of them. You're going to raise your hand, and you're going to say, hey, Mr. H, Ms. Armstrong, come check these. So you're graphing <coughs> these three. X is greater than or equal to seven. Number two, x is less than negative 12. And number three, four is greater than x. So graph those three. Give them a try. Once you have them graphed, raise your hand, we'll come around.
The one that I thought would trick us is the one that's getting us, which is good. The one of them's a little tricky. It doesn't look like the rest. It's that song. Which one does it fit in with you? <laughs> For the most part, good. about 30 more seconds. Okay, so some of you got it, some of you did not. Let's take a look, number one. So first off, start your number line. I need three numbers. The number that we start with, one less, one more. Greater than or equal to tells me it's going to be a closed circle. Is my variable on the left? That's key. Is x on the left? Yeah. So now when I make my arrow, it's pointed to the right. We can only do that when the variable is on the left. What numbers are greater than 7? Oh, well, all of these. 8 is greater than or equal to 7. 7, because it's closed, is also greater than or equal to 7. Number 2, negative 12. Less is negative 13. Greater is negative 11. Open or closed circle, Carly? Open, because we are not including negative 12 as an answer. Is the variable on the left? Yeah. So draw your arrow up, it's pointing this way. Negative 13 is certainly less than negative 12. Number three, we draw our number line. We've got four, we've got three, we've got five. Next question I ask myself is, is my variable on the left? No. If the variable is not on the left, we need to make it on the left. X and 4 switch places. And if the gator mouse eating the 4, the gator mouse stays eating the 4. We, when we graph for us, it will be easier if that variable is on the left. So if it's not, Everything switches. Does everybody understand that? Everything has to switch. Now, is it an open or closed circle? Caleb, open or closed circle? Open. open. Do you know why? Uh, it's, not it's not greater than or equal to, which means 4 isn't part of my solution. We call it a solution set. But what's less than 4? Oh. 3, 2, 1, 0, on and on and on and on. Questions about number 3. You have to flip the entire inequality. We good? Okay. This is just graphing. There are going to be times that it is going to say solve and graph. So it's going to say solve and graph. And I promise you this is easy. Mr. Greg, I need you to keep your head up. So let's start off easy. 
3 plus x is less than 7. All of our steps stay the same. We're going to solve it just like we would solve an equation. When we solve an equation, what's our first step? What do we always need to do? It's still up there. Take a look. What do we need to do, Evan? No. When we solve an equation, what's the first step, Bianca? Not first. Evie? Evan. Find the balance point. We still have a left and a right side of our equation. So we've now found the balance point. Now we want to isolate this positive x. We want 1x. So what do I do to solve this equation? This is a one-step inequality. So what do I do? How do I move a positive 3? You subtract it from the other side. Yeah, you subtract 3 from both sides. 3 minus 3 is 0. That leaves me with 1x. 7 minus 3 is 4. The sign comes down. So now I have x is less than 4. Is that hard? It's a one-step equation, except we put an inequality sign. So now we can graph. We want just the inequality. We have 4, so this is a solved. When it says solve, this is my answer right here. When it says graph, this is my answer here. So 4, 3, 5. Open or closed circle, Mason, what do you think? If it's just is less than, open or closed? Very good, because we are not including 4 as an answer. 4 is not part of this, because 4 is not less than 4. Which way do I need to shade? To the windows or to the wall? To the wall. Hmm? To the windows. To the windows. Wow, you're too young. Yeah. Questions? That was better about six years ago when I was doing it. Yeah, great. Questions on that one? We're going to do a bunch of these. So again, we're solving and graphing. Solve and graph. Let's go. X minus 7 is less than, is greater than or equal to negative 24. So X minus 7 is greater than or equal to negative 24. Bless you. And I'm even going to start you off. So there's my balance point. Solve it. See if you can solve, see if you can graph it. Okay. 
Yeah. No, I'm no. too stupid to find oh, out. I don't believe that. Okay, first step. What am I doing? Go ahead, Megan. That makes way more sense. I'm sorry, say it again. Isolating the variable. So we're trying to get x by itself. So what do I have to do to get x by itself? Add 7 to both sides. Negative 7 plus 7, that's the additive inverse or zero pairs. X comes down. Greater than or equal to negative 24 plus 7. When the signs are different, we subtract. So that gives me negative 17. From there, I have to make my number line. That gives me negative 17 here. Questions on that? A number less than is negative 18. A number greater is negative 16. We still good. From here, it's greater than or equal to. The or equal to means that negative 17 is a possibility. So I make a closed circle because negative 17 is part of that solution set. Is the variable on the left-hand side? Yep. So that means I make my arrow. It's pointed to the right. All of these are correct choices. One more practice. Show of hands, actually. Hand on the chest. Who got that one right? Both the answer and the graph. Both. Okay. Last one. Then you guys get your homework, which you should be able to do in class. Because it's only three problems. So let's go. So here's example three. Negative 15, less than or equal to, so let's just make it greater than x plus 12. So solve and graph. Solve and graph. You see that? Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. So last one. So we are going to do our balance point. We're going to try to get x by itself, which means we subtract 12 from both sides. Positive 12, negative 12, additive inverse gives me just x. Same signs, we add them, we keep the sign. 
Is this my answer? Absolutely. Is that going to help me graph? Absolutely not. What do we need to do with it because the variable is on the right hand side? What do we need to do? Switch what? Uh, put the negative 27 on the other side. Okay. So x and negative 27 flip, but what else has to flip? The inequality sign. So if it's pointed at the x, it stays pointed at the x. They are both answers, but this one helps me graph. So I'm going to put a little note. When graphing, the variable should be on the left. So now we can come to our graph. Negative 27 goes smack dab in the middle. Negative 28 to the right. Negative 26 to the left. Open or closed circle, Swill? Uh, open. Why? Because it is less than. Okay, but why the open circle? What does that open circle signify? I forgot. That's right. Who can help him? What does that open circle signify? That it is... It is less than, but what does that actual whole mean? Jackson. It's not going to reduce it. That's not going to be the answer. Thank you. This isn't going to be part of the solution. That open circle is like a whole. That whole saying, hey, this isn't part of anything. So negative 27 isn't part of the solution. B, good job, man. Proud of you. Then the arrow's pointing to the left. We shade to the left. Questions there? Okay, here's your problems. You're gonna need to copy them down. I'm gonna give you four of them. Solve and graph. Okay, so you're solving and graphing. This is your homework. So four problems, solve and graph. 